Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. Today, I'm going to tell you something that I learned about milk. Ugh, just the thought of it. No, not milk. <laughs> uh, I was reading a blog from a local farm that produces raw milk, or their version of pasteurized milk. And they were comparing that to the lovely store-bought gallon quart pint that you can get at your local uh, supermarket. And what they were saying was, you know, obviously there's all these chemicals and preservatives inside the milk and blah, 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 blah. And it's understandable. Uh, you know, you, when you mass market anything, you have to mass market the chemicals that go along with it. And one of the things that I learned that really kind of freaked me out was, you know, when you have milk and you, know, you buy it at the store and you leave it in, it's been there a little too long and it starts to get a little chunky, you know, Oh, chewy there. Not so good. Uh, you have to throw it away because literally that's the breaking down of not only the milk, but also the chemicals and the stabilizers and etc. and the colorants that are in milk for the most part. And it could kill you or make you seriously ill if you drank it. Now let's go back before we had factory and produced milk with chemicals, preservatives, and all that other fine crap. You go to your local, uh, you know, dairy, and, uh, you know, uh, good old Bessie gives you a pint, you know, quart, gallon, whatever the case may be, and, uh, you know, it's raw milk. When that milk sits in your refrigerator at the correct temperature as told to you by your farmer, uh, your dairy, uh, the dairy farm, or if you look it up, I think it's about 32, 34, 36 degrees in your fridge. And as that milk starts to turn, that's soured milk. You can use that in baking. You use the stuff that you got at the grocery store that looks like that in your, <laughs> in your baking and you know, you'll be at the hospital, violently ill from the breaking down of the, of the chemicals in the milk that you buy at the store. So, do yourself a favor and help out all of your local dairy farmers. Buy your milk fresh from the dairy. If you have one locally by you, best way to go. Absolutely delicious. It is such a difference in milk that's actually from a cow before processing than it is from the crap in the plastic that sits under those lights with all of those chemicals to make sure it doesn't turn so they can get the longest amount of shelf life and make the most amount of profit before they have to toss that toxic uh, hell stew in the trash barrel behind the store. So that's what you need to know. If you are a dumpster diver, I have no issue with dumpster diving. A good friend, my, a good friend of mine, Hollis, taught me the benefits of dumpster diving way back when she was in college. Let's just say there are many moons that have gone around since that time. Uh, uh, but if you're a dumpster diver, stay away from one, uh, well, clearly uh, fish, uh, fish, things of that nature, and definitely that crappy milk that you find sometimes thrown in the dumpster. And that's what you need to know. Stay safe, be good, eat healthy stuff, and I'll talk to you later. Ciao for now.